So now let's get into the um, introduction to the courses that are remaining. So 542 and 547, 597, especially 597, the project course may be very interesting for you. And you'll get a lot of information from Dr. Ming Chen. Why don't you go ahead? Oh, here we go. Yeah, you need both of them. Okay, um, I guess uh, this is the official first day of the semester, right? If you look at the uh, uh, university calendar, um, so that's the reason why I have the hosting on the um, class website already. Um, it turns out that um, uh, you probably still remember that we have two sections of section 50 and section 51, and for uh, I guess the instructor's convenience, we always want to combine the two sections to, into one. So this is uh, section 50, all right? For those of you who uh, are in the section 51, if you uh, visit section 51, <coughs> you probably see an announcement, well, please uh, visit uh, section 50, all right? Uh, last time, I already put everybody's name on the uh, section 50 already, so you shouldn't have any kind of difficulty to access this uh, section 50. If you do have, uh, trouble, so, uh, please uh, email me uh, immediately so I can kind of go back and check to fix the problem for you. Right. But anyway, so um, this is uh, the uh, section uh, 50 for the uh, uh, CPSC 542, okay, verification and validation, right? Um, uh, as uh, usual, I have this week one, week two, all the way to uh, week uh, 16 uh, for the whole semester. Um, the the uh, best starting part, uh, time, obviously, is to take a look at the uh, syllabus. So you can see that uh, we have a syllabus uh, there in the week one already. So over there, you can kind of open it up. All right. Um, before we open uh, that one up, I just want to mention that uh, in my class, uh, I always kind of promote a little bit of uh, lead time um, for you and also for myself. Okay. So you can see that uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, the week one alone, I also have week two. And let me see. I probably posted week three already, all right? So basically, I want to maintain a uh, couple of weeks of lead time ahead of the current week so that uh, if you have uh, actual time, you can kind of look ahead. And for me, also, I can kind of prepare for the future. I guess that, that probably is the most efficient way to do things, all right? Um, I, uh, maintain that kind of practice in my previous class 545. I hope that you guys uh, still remember <laughs> my style, <laughs> okay? All right, I think that will work uh, fine for you and also for me. All right, so let's take a look at the... the class syllabus. Okay, so from there, I guess uh, it's very uh, typical. Uh, so you can see the uh, whole uh, plan for the uh, class already, uh, starting with the prerequisites, the description, and then uh, the information for the instructor, my office, my office uh, room, and also office hours, and blah, blah, blah my email, my uh, phone. So uh, you may want to pay attention to that uh, piece of information just in case you need to contact me. And then I also list some of the learning goals and then the required textbook. I have a 
a picture of the front page of that textbook. That one is required. And also, we have a lot of other materials. And basically, I will provide link and also the electronic copy later on. So you don't have to worry about those uh, additional materials. Uh, along the way, uh, you will see things. All right, in terms of the uh, schedule, you can see that I have, uh, I lay out, you know, pretty much uh, all the activities, uh, assignments, uh, deadline, and time already. And the reason for that one is um, that gives you the information ahead of time that also uh, reminds myself that, hey, I need to uh, meet that deadline too. I guess it's, uh, it's the same philosophy. Uh, we prepare things in advance, it's good for you and also good for me, all right? So you can see that, for example, the, um, our week one, we already had the very simple discussion uh, assignment, basically it's a forming project groups, okay? So that's due uh, on the coming uh, Sunday. You can see that the due date typically is Sunday evening at 11.55 uh, p.m., right? Uh, so as long as you meet that deadline, it should be fine, all right? Uh, so let's briefly uh, go through the structure of the courses. You can see that we have, you know, all the way uh, week 16, 16 weeks over there. And then um, we have, uh, you know, a couple of the uh, discussion um, uh, in those weeks. And we also have um, essay and, uh, uh, and uh, group project uh, assignment. Uh, so you can see all the deadlines over there. Um, I use the red color to uh, mark all the assignments so that you can see, well, that's the important thing I need to pay attention to, right? Um, the green uh, label is for uh, those today you don't have to pay attention to things. Uh, we have several national holidays and also the uh, Thanksgiving week, so you can see that I kind of label that one too. All right, so basically that is the structure of the whole class. And uh, along the way, I also kind of uh, uh, post most of the, if not all, most of the assignments ahead of time. All right, so if you kind of move downward, so you can see that um, uh, I have the grading uh, policy there. It's very typical. And then after that, I have some of the FAQs. You, uh, at this point, point, you probably are uh, quite familiar with my way of communication. I will try my best to come up with the uh, FAQs uh, in anticipation of your question. And sure enough, you may have some questions I do not know <laughs> ahead of time. So if that's the case, definitely you are welcome to write email to me there, and sure enough, we can come up with some kind of a conversation that way, all right? But I kind of um, encourage you to go through the FAQs first, you know, uh, so that you have a better understanding of uh, where I come from, all right, for that particular uh, assignments, all right. So, and also, uh, I start, I post all the assignments already, for example, the essay, uh, the first essay, the title is Software Testing Jobs in California and their Required Skill Sets. Okay, um, I would like to typically want to open up the whole class with some kind of a real world connection, right? Hoping that uh, that gives you some kind of excitement or interest <laughs> before you jump into this uh, boring material. Uh, hopefully, when you do the first essay, you will discover, wow, there's a lot of testing job out there. <laughs> okay, um, I guess in our career, we always face this uh, not a very easy question. Uh, am I going to be a developer all my life? Or at the midpoint, I want to switch to maybe other interesting to have a job, uh, for example, testing, or for example, management, or that kind, that kind of a question, all right? And then this first essay probably uh, encourage you to look beyond the life of developer, <laughs> okay? So it turns out that 
uh, if I'm not mistaken, if you go over that uh, essay uh, type of requirement and start searching, looking uh, into the job market in California in terms of software testing, you probably will be surprised. There's a lot of uh, interesting testing job out there too. Okay, so anyway, so that's the uh, essay assignment there. All right, and then. And we have another presentation, right? So let me briefly talk about this presentation. And sure enough, with this presentation, we have some kind of topic over there. Um, but the reason I have this presentation is because, at least that's my feeling, that the whole industry kind of moves in the direction that uh, the person, the people skill, the presentation, the communication skill becomes a significant part of our job, right? So, so uh, even uh, in the testing business, uh, the communication, the presentation skill is becoming a bigger, bigger portion of the, your activity. Um, so, for this reason, um, for you know the coursework assignment, I think the presentation is very important. So, um, in addition to kind of writing some kind of convincing arguments. Um, uh, another very important practice probably is you need to come up with some kind of convincing way of uh, oral communication with your co-workers. But anyway, so that is the uh, rationale behind the presentation. And sure enough, followed by that, we have a group project also, very similar to my previous class of 545. Uh, group project, I guess that's a small, place you can kind of uh, practice your um, skill working with other people. Uh, sure enough, you have a bad uh, partner, you have a good partner, you can learn something from the good partner, you, you can also learn something from your bad uh, partners. It's, it's kind of a mutual learning the environment, so we'd like to continue that. All right, and then sure enough, later on you can go in and, and try to take a look at what kind of group project uh, is required for this class. But basically, we look at the market leaders, uh, uh, I mean the software tool uh, in, in, the, in the market, and then there are two market leaders uh, in the uh, uh, testing business. One is HP, um, it is called Mercury uh, before, anyways. Uh, that's one option. Another one is obviously is open source. So we do have two options, and your group will make that decision yourself. All right. And then uh, we also have this uh, discussion topics. Uh, I guess we have about probably nine or ten discussions. Okay. So I can uh, lay out all these discussions beforehand. All right, and also obviously from the previous page, you can see all the, the uh, deadlines for the discussion. So I kind of encourage you to kind of look ahead and uh, plan your uh, schedule accordingly. Uh, discussion uh, topic covers uh, obviously some from the textbook, some from the uh, sign the material, for example, you know, one of them is IEEE standard 829, which is the main uh, software testing uh, standard from IEEE. So, you know, that uh, will be one of the uh, topics we want to uh, discuss. And there's another one, test-driven development, okay, and also an agile tester. Um, in the whole class, we will kind of cover that one, too. Um, Okay, and we do have some general FAQs in terms of, you know, grading, my philosophy, and my way of giving uh, points or taking points off, that kind of things. Uh, it's very similar to 545, uh, but here I just want to repeat that one more time. And also, um, I do, um, wish you to follow this uh, file naming convention. Um, so instead of the first name, last thing, and assignment name, that kind of thing, I really appreciate if you can use the, the last name first, 
and then first name and the assignment name. Why? Because all the university sorting uh, uh, software actually sorts uh, things out based on your last name. So if you put your last name first, that will make my life much, much easier. All right. So I appreciate that you pay attention to that. Um, let's see, what else? Right. Most of the students may ask me, the, how do I evaluate uh, your performance? Basically, uh, my uh, philosophy is I look at three categories. The first one is your effort. Okay. Um, nowadays, uh, sure enough, um, a lot of people are smarter or something like that. But in addition to uh, your uh, IQ, I think that the attitude of working hard still is very, very important. So the first category will be the effort. As long as you show effort, that should be fine. Okay. And the second one will be the presentation. And as I mentioned before, in this industry, the communication skills, communication ability becomes a bigger portion of your job performance. So presentation is very important. So in all those assignments, uh, presentation, you can consider that as a, as a practice. So that's the second category. And the third one is the insights. Right? And uh, over here, what we uh, do is we kind of deliver some kind of old knowledge to you. Right. But repeating the old knowledge itself probably is not enough in this uh, you know, very competitive uh, environment. Okay. So how can you somehow chew on the old material and figure out your, your contribution <coughs> to the field? That means you, you somehow generate a new uh, uh, knowledge, new information based on your understanding of the existing old information. And that is your insight, your own personal opinions, your way of expressing things. Right? I think that is very, very important in terms of the long prosperity of your career. Instead of just repeating what other people told you, you can kind of turn it and then digest it and then express that using your own way. I, I think that requires a little bit of practice. Everybody should have that kind of ability, but you, need, you just need to pay attention to it. Okay. So uh, in all my classes, I kind of encourage people to do that. I don't think it's that difficult, but you just have to pursue it. Right. And instead of repeating whatever the textbook or whatever the you know, internet tell you, nothing wrong with that one. You digest that one. But you want to go one step further using your own language to express that one. I always challenge my student, hey, don't use this industry standard term. Uh, try to turn that one into street language. Okay. And if you can explain an industry or some kind of a difficult, uh, confusing concept using stand, uh, street language to some, uh, to some uh, layman, so to speak, then that is a proof that you truly understand that particular concept. All right, so let's practice that in this class too. All right, so I will pay a, a lot of attention to your insight, your opinion. So, so be my guest in this, in the, um, you know, this uh, discussion assignment, in the essay. Try to express yourself. I, I really uh, encourage you to do that. All right. So that pretty much is uh, uh, my rubric, uh, rubric in terms of grading uh, your performance. All right. Um, that pretty much is the things I want to cover because simply because uh, um, today's uh, uh, presentation is not about the whole class. We cannot finish the whole class uh, in 20 minutes. And also, since everything is on the, uh, on the class website already, so to go through that probably is meaningless, right? But this is pretty much the overview of this 542 uh, verification and validation. Any question I can entertain? Probably not. Well, OK, yes. So the final exam is going to be similar to 545. You're going to give us a couple of Yes. Uh, yes. It turns out, well, let's take a look at that, OK.
So we can see that the final exam will be uh, you know, toward the December, final exam due date will be Friday, December 18, something like that. Take home final exam will be posted on Saturday, December 14. But typically, I would like to give you plenty of times before we reach that point. So my plan is probably we'll, I will start releasing the final question uh, around here. Okay, maybe one question at a time, so that you have time to contemplate it, right? All the uh, uh, final exam questions are open questions, right? So uh, since you mentioned that, maybe I spend a little bit more uh, minutes to talk about this uh, 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 exam, okay? Uh, since this is uh, the online uh, courses, there's no way I can uh, monitor everybody's uh, the way of uh, answering question. And that's reason number one. The second reason would be uh, software engineering, at least that's my understanding or my <laughs> opinion, there's no fixed answer for most of the questions, okay? It's uh, engineering, that means uh, you have room to, to react to the real world situation, okay? And that is the reason why people pay you a very high uh, salary, simply because you can adjust the approach based on what happened at that particular time in that particular environment, okay? So uh, the final exam uh, questions are open-ended questions, right? So there's no fixed answer, right? Anybody can somehow come up with a little bit different one, okay? So for that reason, uh, it's good for this online type of education simply because in terms of fairness, right, uh, I don't really do not worry too much about kind of people cheat in some way simply because open end there's no standard answer, right? But I do encourage people not to work together. And, and the reason for that one is um, if you work together to do the final exam, then in some case, you kind of miss the opportunity to expose yourself you know, freshly to a particular question. Your opinion already uh, is affected by somebody else's opinion. Right? So, so, so in some cases, I, I, I think you miss an opportunity to really uh, practice your own way of thinking. All right, so that's the reason why I discourage people to work together, although I do not have any kind of mechanism to prevent that from it, okay? The second way uh, uh, I practice it is uh, because my grading uh, rubrics uh, pays attention or pays uh, or place more ways on the innovation on the inside. Okay, so in that case, suppose that a couple of people work together, well, that insight becomes very common, <laughs> all right? It's not unique anymore, all right? So if it is not unique, then I really cannot say this is excellent, all right? Simply because, oh, well, everybody's talking about the same thing. Well, that must be an average one, all right? Um, so um, because of that one, I kind of uh, encourage everybody to, um, uh, do not work together and, and simply uh, try your best. I give you plenty of time to contemplate that interesting question and do your best to express yourself. All right. And you, you do have a plenty of time. It's just like uh, 545, almost four or five weeks ahead of time. All right. Yes? So I noticed that uh, 545, there was like a lot of assignments, like five assignments and four reports. Reports were harder and more time consuming than assignments. And assignments were a little bit more than discussions. Uh, <laughs> and uh, my question to you is Did you, it seems like you lightened up the difficulty of this course. Was that in response to the fact that we were also running a project at the same time and you're being considerate? Or are you, you probably will be surprised because later on you will see that actually it's not lightning at all. There are other things to come into. <laughs> I'm like that, now you see that, hey, this is not uh, too heavy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I see discussions like, okay, I'm just talking about something that, you know, kind of reviewing what I read or whatnot. Right. And uh, your assignments and whatnot in previous ones, uh, they were a little bit more in depth and thinking and coming up with uh, 
a different type of uh, opinion. Like, it's like, we know that you read it, and we, you know we have to right. it on it. That, that, was by, that was by design, because I need to uh, double check that whether you guys spend time yeah. <laughs> and read those kind of stuff too. Okay. And sure enough, this essay is uh, kind of more in-depth to see whether you can, you can develop your own view. Yeah. I, I kind of really uh, emphasize that one, whether you can develop your own way of answering some question to see things that way. Okay, so uh, hopefully this arrangement is not too harsh, not too easy. <laughs> okay, you probably were surprised it's not that easy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, all right. Well, uh, you guys can ask me a uh, further question after you know this whole session will be over. I will be here. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.